France versus Italy. 10 biggest differences. 1. Population. France has 67 million people and Italy has just about 62 million people. It's a close run. 2. Size. France is almost twice as large as Italy in terms of size, so it has a few more variations in geography as a result. France is 83% larger than Italy. 3. Climate. In terms of climate, France is generally cooler and wetter than Italy due to it being more northern. The average temperature in Paris is around 5 degrees Celsius in winter and 20 degrees Celsius in summer. Moulin Rouge. Average temperatures in Rome are around 8 degrees Celsius in winter and 30 degrees Celsius in summer. Italy is in general warmer. Incredible. 4. Prices. France is more expensive, there's no way around it. While Rome and Venice can get pricey, Paris is one of the most expensive cities to visit in Europe. For instance, a 3 star hotel room in December in Paris will cost you around $150 for 2 guests, while the same in Rome would cost you around $100. That's not an insignificant difference. As well, food, drink and transportation will likely run higher across France than Italy. France also has a larger economy than Italy with a GDP which is 38% higher than Italy's GDP. I simply feel like I'm getting more value for my money when I travel around Italy than I do when traveling around France. 5. Landmarks Let's not even try to determine a winner here. France and Italy both have some of the world's most famous what? sites. A simple rundown of each country's most famous highlights shows their respective wealth of treasures to be discovered on a European vacation. France boasts 41 UNESCO sites. Magnifique! While Italy counts 55 UNESCO World Heritage sites within its borders. It's almost ridiculous how many wonders both of these countries hold within their borders. 6. Food and Drink Like with national landmarks, both Italy and France have some of the best food and drink in the world. It's pricey, but it's really good. French bread and French cheese are the best in the world, and Italy has so many specialities. Italian cuisine is based on simplicity, few ingredients, but highest quality and freshness. And it's also the birthplace of pizza, the world's favorite food. Do you prefer French or Italian food? They are both so good. You can't do wrong with wine in either of the countries. It's simply excellent. Moscato, Moscato. 7. Arts and Culture Italy has more historical sites to discover while France continues to break new ground into the future. Paris is arguably the highlight of world art and culture whether you like the city or not. The French have an immense national pride and continue to innovate in arts and style. Italy is more a country rooted in tradition and the past. Italy. <laughs> I like my country. You'll find historical sites here going back thousands of years to the beginning of the Roman Empire. The Colosseum and the Roman Forum are only the best known remnants of the empire. 8. The People Italians tend to be more gregarious. French people value their private space. Italy is a lot more family oriented. Local communities are valued and the differences between personal and public work are blurred. In France, there generally is more separation between personal life and public life. I find Italians to be more welcoming at first but also more superficial at times. In France, it takes more time to make friends but I feel like friendships are more stable. I have a lot of good Italian and French friends, but the feeling I have in Italy is sometimes like visiting a close relative who welcomes you with open arms and wants to have a good time, whereas Parisians sometimes can look at you like they are Rolls Royce salesmen. But they are actually friendly people once you dig a little deeper usually. Yes. Yes. I find the French people in many other French cities outside of Paris even more friendly. Maybe life is just more relaxed for them outside the big city. I don't know. Most of the French people are nice and not rude, as some would be quick to call them. Both countries have great people. 9. Infrastructure France has a better infrastructure than Italy, for both locals and tourists. Hotels are generally better kept, roads are in better states of repair, though transportation is also more expensive in France. It's not that Italy is inefficient, but Italian roads can get bumpy outside the main cities and the trains are known to run off schedule. 
You don't have to worry about the lace or major inefficiencies in France the way you might have to in Italy. Italy has a large number of big cities. France is the country of mid-sized cities. France density is also lower. France has fewer beautiful cities than Italy, but they are also more organized and convenient. Italy beats everyone else in the heritage department, but France is in the very, very top two. 10. Mentality French people generally have a positive view on Italians. The most favorite one is Italy. Culture, the food, the people, the weather. Uh, Italy, yes. Pourquoi? Very uh, pizza. <laughs> Uh, Italia, very, very good. While it's more mixed with Italian's view on French people. France. Put the sotto al naso. It's like... Yeah. I like France. France. <laughs> While Italy and Spain seem to be two real brother countries who really love each other, France is a bit more like a third wheel in the bromance. Uh, after Italy, Spanish. Spain. Similar to Italy and is a happy place. Maybe it's because France is Western Europe and Spain and Italy are the south of Europe. Italians are usually loud, whereas French people are a bit more calm and reserved. Another striking difference is how people tend to handle a phone call in a train. In France, people tend to go to a hidden corner to take a call so as not to disturb other passengers. Roma! In Italy, it is very normal that someone calls his entire family for an hour with a voice loud enough that the entire train knows about everything. France and Italy actually have a lot of similarities and because both countries are really good at a lot of things, like football and sports in general, there can be a love-hate relationship at times. But deep down the countries are like cousins. I met so many great French and Italian people and as you can see these two countries are both phenomenal countries. They are both beautiful. I think Italian should recognize the value of the French and French should recognize the value of Italian. Have you been to France or Italy? Do you agree or disagree with any of these 10 differences? Please comment below. Remember to subscribe to Gus on the Go.